The parish of St. Mary is bordered by Portland in the east, St. Anne in the west, and parts of St. Catherine and St. Andrew in the south. It is mostly mountainous, rising up to almost 4,000 feet at the highest point, with just under 13% of its area having slopes below 10 degrees. There are three main rivers in St. Mary, the Ryanuva River, Wogwater, and White Rivers. These rivers are often slow and at times create swamps in the surrounding areas. Welcome back to Elite Jamaica, the place you come to learn about Jamaica and Jamaicans. If it's your first time joining me here, consider subscribing to the channel and click the notification icon so you always receive my updates. St. Mary is well known for being one of the first sections of the highland to be occupied by the Spaniards. In 1655, after the English captured Jamaica from the Spanish, the area around the town of Puerto Santa Maria became known as St. Mary. Port Maria, the current capital of the parish, was the second town built by the Spaniards on the island. Today, this parish includes the former parish of Metcalf and part of the former parish of St. George. Numerous national monuments still stand in the parish, such as the town of Rayo Nuevo, which holds historical significance for being the site of the last battle between the invading English and the defending Spaniards who eventually had to flee to Cuba. In 1760, the most serious rebellion in Jamaica's history broke out around Port Maria, eventually spreading to almost the entire island. The leader of this rebellion was a Coromante slave called the Taki, who belonged to the frontier estate. Fort Alden, now Gray's Charity, was seized and ammunition taken. The rebels then moved inland. Many whites were killed. After emancipation, free villages were formed in St. Mary, but the parish still basically remained one with big estates. At the beginning of the 19th century, there were 63 sugar factories in the parish, but by the end of the century, on the tree existed. With the decline of sugar, banana cultivation took its place. In the late 1930s, St. Mary played a prominent role in the creation of Jamaica Producers Association, which was set up to prevent the continuation of monopoly on bananas held by the United Fruit Company and other purchasing organizations. Under the umbrella of the association, the Jamaica banana growers banded together to ship and market their own produce. Port Maria, the capital of the parish, is home to several buildings which survived from Port Maria's golden days of being a busy port such as the St. Mary Parish Church and the Old Courthouse. Acabesa is located west of Port Maria on the main road leading to the neighboring parish of St. Anne. The name Aracabesa is thought to have been derived from the Spanish Oro de Cabeza meaning Golden Ed. Aracabesa is a farming town. Anato Bay is a seacoast town on the western side of the mouth of the Wagwater River, one of St. Mary's many rivers. In its heyday, Anato Bay boasted a rich sugar estate, Gray's Inn, but this sugar estate no longer functions since banana has replaced sugar as the main crop. The rusting smokestacks that once billowed Fort Life on this estate now stand idle. Ian Fleming was an English author and journalist, best known as the creator of the world famous James Bond series of spy novels. These novels were written as, at his residence, Goldeneye, in Boscobel, St. Mary. The Ian Fleming International Airport, also in the parish, is named in his honor. Dr. Erna Bradbury, sociologist and social activist, born in Woodside, St. Mary, on April 20, 1940. She is also a world famous novelist and a 1999 recipient of the Jamaican Musgrave Gold Award for Literature and Oratia. Oliver Samuels 
O.D. Known as Jamaica's King of Comedy, is a comedian and actor born in Harmony Hall, St. Mary. He is best known for his television series called Oliver at Large. Lisa Anna is a Jamaican politician and former beauty pageant title holder who grew up in the town of Retreat, St. Mary. Thank you for joining me again guys. I do hope you found this video interesting. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to Elite Jamaicas yet, consider doing so by clicking the red subscribe button and hitting that bell icon to receive all my notifications. Until then, I am Alex. Bless.